Hi, I'm Mark at LeagueAthletics.com. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about setting up your online store. So once you've been logged into the website as an administrator, you can scroll to the bottom of the admin features page, and we're going to focus on the tools box here. Now we're going to click on Club Run Online Store, and this is going to allow you to upload your own images and set your own prices uh, for any apparel or equipment that you want to sell through your online store. The next page is going to bring us to the online store management page. And the first thing we want to do is click on the box all the way to the left, basic store setup. This is where we're going to define some information about our store overall. Now on the store information page, the first thing we want to do is select where we want to place our online store. If you select the drop down, you're going to see that these options correspond to the horizontal tabs that you have going across the top of your site. So you can choose where you want the online store to appear. Then you want to give it a title. So this is going to be the name of the tab uh, that's going to appear to the public uh, on your website. So currently mine's named Store. You can see that I have Store here on the left as I have it underneath of the Home tab. Then we can add a description for our store. This is optional, but this might be something about your store, uh, what your, um, the money that you're collecting, what it's going towards, uh, any additional uh, information you want to give somebody shopping on your website. The invoice note is going to be shown at the bottom of the receipt that somebody receives uh, when they purchase an item. The live option allows you to turn the store on and off on your website. If I was to uncheck the live option and scroll to the bottom and click continue, it would hide the store from my website and nobody would be able to shop there. Uh, so that you may want to turn it off um, while you're setting up the online store until you're ready to make it live to the public. In the email field here, we can enter our email or the person responsible for managing the online store. Every time a purchase is made, this person will get copied on that receipt uh, for that purchase. Next, we can define shipping methods. If we have a shipping method, uh, we're going to actually send this product out via uh, USPS or FedEx or UPS. Uh, we can add that shipping option here, and we can also define how much that's going to cost. So once we click Add, we'll get a pop-up here. We can name this and add a cost for that service. Next, we can describe our shipping policy. So this might be something like I have here. Item is shipped within 24 hours. If you're required to collect tax on sales, then you can add your state here. Again, you'll get a pop-up. You can select your state and enter the sales tax rate. Down below we can define our payment options, essentially how we want people to pay us. I've chosen one of my merchant accounts, uh, but you could also use a PayPal account or just do a COD cash on delivery uh, if you are delivering this uh, item to somebody at a game or a practice. And finally, you want to note your return policy. If you're actually shipping these items, uh, you'd want to ask somebody to return it within a certain time period in order to refund their money. Or perhaps you don't refund uh, money on purchases. Once we've set this all up, we can click Continue to Save. Now that will have our store set up, uh, all of the basic settings uh, for the store on our website. The next thing we want to do is actually add inventory to our store. And that's the next button here, Manage Product Inventory. And when I click on this, it's going to show me of all of the, uh, a list of all of the products that we have currently in the store. We could click on one of these items to go ahead and edit the information. Uh, we could click on the little paper icon to the left here to go ahead and make an exact copy of that item if we wanted to... Uh, use that as a template and add additional information or update information for a new item. We can also click the inventory button and that'll show us how much inventory we have left for this product. But for now I'm going to go ahead and click add an item to add a new item to our store. The first box is a name for this item. So I'm going to be adding a warrior uh, knit wool hat to the site today. So I'm going to be calling it warrior beanie I can add an item ID if I'd like. Perhaps this is a SKU number or some identifying number for your organization. We can also add inventory. So if we have 25 uh, pieces, 
for this product, we can just put the 25 in here and click submit. Now what's going to happen when it is sold out, um, we can either show that this item is sold out or we'll show that it's back ordered so we'll order more for those people who still want that product. Here we can make this item public. So if this is an item that we're working on we don't yet want to release it, uh, we could uncheck this option and save it. And then when we're ready to release it to the public, we could come back and edit this item and then make it public. Here we can enter an item description. Below we can add a quick tagline. This is going to appear on the store homepage if, where somebody sees all of your items. This will just be a quick uh, one-liner. So I typed wool knit hat with warrior logo. Then I'm going to upload a picture file. And then I can finally give a caption for that picture. Now down below in my option groups, here's where I can specify different uh, options for this product. So there might be things like size or color or other attributes. I'm just going to do a size option here. And then we can edit our choices. So I'll click add to add a new choice and I'll say small. And click submit. And so I want to do small, medium, and large so I'll add three different choices here. When I have all of them entered, I'll click Close. Now something to note here, I've uh, added my different choices. So we may have different inventory for small, medium, and large uh, hats. So we can go back up to the inventory section here if we'd like, and we'll be shown three different quantity boxes to enter our uh, quantity uh, of inventory. So small I may have 10, medium I may have 5, and large I may have 10 as well and click Submit to save. Now when people purchase the different sizes, it'll decrement that, that inventory. If we want somebody to enter free form text, perhaps like their name or number to be embroidered, uh, we can enter that information here. Prompt them with a question, and they'll be shown that when they go to purchase the item. Then we can give this uh, item a unit price, so perhaps this is going to be $20. We can also define our shipping costs based on those methods that we defined. And we can also do uh, discount schedules. So perhaps you're giving a 20% discount of, off of two or more hats purchased. We could put a 2 in the quantity field here and put 20 in the percent field. So that means if two or more uh, pieces of this hat are sold, uh, we'll provide a 20% discount off of their purchase. And then down below, we can override our general shipping policy and override our return policy that we created for the store. And finally, we'll click Continue to Save. Okay, and now that I've got my product entered, I can navigate back to the home page of our site and go to our online store and see how that would appear to the end user. So I'll go back to the home page. I'll find my online store. And this will bring me to the online store page where people would be able to shop. So here's my Warrior Beanie. Here's my uh, tag, wool knit hat with the Warrior logo, our price and an image. Somebody would now be able to click on this item and it'll take them to an item details page. So we've got our Warrior beanie, the image, our caption for the image, and then all of our options here. $20, this is a really great hat that everyone should buy. And they can choose their size and also enter their name and number uh, to go ahead and have that additional information added and then we can have a quantity of one and we're showing that we're offering a discount uh, for uh, multiple uh, multiple item purchases here and then once we selected those options we can click add to cart to go ahead and start the checkout process I'm Mark at League Athletics thanks for watching